Welcome back to My Time Films and Project Integra. Today we're going to talk about the B18C1 and the B18C5. So instead of going through one engine and then going through the other, I'm just going to kind of hop back and forth. With that said, here we go. GSR transmission is without a doubt hard to find. The Type R transmission is almost impossible if not very difficult to find. I've searched high and low for both and I've never come across a B18C5. A real genuine B18C5 that's never been touched. There was such a limited quantity of both of these engines so that's why most people see or clear of the whole uh, VTEC thing and just get a VTEC head with a B18B block or a B20 block because it's just so difficult nowadays to find that kind of stuff. You gotta remember, you know, this stuff has been around for 20 years, so, you know, not much is going to be lingering around after so many people have probably uh, busted blocks open, abused them, you know, all this other stuff, so I can understand why people go LSV tech nowadays. The GSR has a compression ratio of 10.1 to 1, while the Type R has a compression ratio of 10.8 to 1. The GSR has about 170 horsepower to the crank, and the Type R has about 195 horsepower to the crank. The GSR transmission has the slowest ratio from 1st to 5th gear, while the Type R has the fastest 1st to 5th gear. And the Type R actually has LSD equipped. Now we're going to work our way inside the engine and work our way from bottom to top and just end the video on the top of the engine. So at the very bottom we have the crankshafts. Now both crankshafts are the same. One is just balanced better for higher RPMs and that one is going to be the Type R. The GSR, it's still a great crankshaft to have but if you ever need that that balance you can just have your machine shop do it and it's not going to be too much money to do. Next up we have the rods. Now the rods, I want to say are the same, but one is clearly stamped P72 while the other is stamped R. Um, so I'm not too sure if they're really different. One may be lighter, one may be uh, made of a different material, even though they look exactly the same. Uh, so that's just my assumption. If you, you know, know 100% sure if one is made different, please leave it down in the comment section for somebody to know about or for me to know about. Now the pistons are a little different. The pistons for the GSR are a little smaller compared to the Type R and this is what affects that compression ratio. I'm going to get into that a little bit later of how everything works and why you shouldn't swap a B16 head onto a GSR block. So just bear with me here. We're going to keep working our way up. So the P72 head uh, is slightly, uh, I want to say better in some parts than the PR3 head. And the reason for that is because of the dome at the bottom where the valves are. So that area is a little bit smaller than the PR3. And this is what allows you to get that bump in compression. So when you swap a PR3 head onto a GSR block with that larger dome, you're actually going to be losing compression because the way compression ratio works is it's the difference between the top of the piston to the top of the head. So if that area is larger, you're going to lose compression. So that's why people tell you when you swap a B16 head onto a GSR block, it has a larger distance. So basically, you're going to be losing compression that way. Now that I've kind of covered compression ratio to the best of my ability, I'm going to work my way into the head. So the heads are slightly different, like I've already stated, but when we get into the inner workings with the valve springs, retainers, and cams, that's where things kind of get a little weird with the configurations. So you have the valve springs, you have the valves, uh, here's where things kind of change. The Type R has dual valve springs on the intake and exhaust side. This is what allows the engine to rev all the way up to 8500 or 8400 without any binds or without anything breaking on you. Now you can do this with a GSR but you know it may not last you long and you could run into problems. Now the GSR has dual valve springs on the intake side only and so does the B16. The Type R is actually the only one to have dual valve springs on the intake and exhaust side. So I just want to point that out before any of you guys go ahead and start revving your car, it's way too high. Now the cams are slightly different. The GSR cams are a little bit smaller when it comes to lift and duration compared to the, the Type R cams, which only makes sense because the Type R uh, makes more power and revs higher um, and has better compression, so that's why they have the better cam. Here are the specs for the GSRs. 
And here are the specs of the Type R. Now I'm not gonna go too far into detail about lift and duration because I don't even know too much about that. Uh, I just figured, you know, hey, it's worth noting for you guys to kind of figure out on your own if you already know all about that. And lastly, we have the intake manifold, which is where things kind of slightly change. So the P72 head is the only head that can use a uh, GSR intake manifold from the factory. Uh, in my last video, I said that you can swap these. Now, I didn't really mean that. I kind of meant to say that uh, the um, aftermarket, there's aftermarket uh, intake manifolds that kind of switch from curl under to curl over. So you have the Skunk 2 intake manifolds that look exactly like the Type R intake manifold, um, but it's geared for the P72. So that's kind of what I meant to say. Um, the P72 intake manifold from the factory has IEBs, which is secondary intake runners or VTEC runners, whatever you want to call it. And I'm not going to go too far into detail about that. I'll leave that in the description for you guys. Uh, but basically, that's the only thing that really differs from the um, the intake manifolds. One is better geared for mid-range power, while the Type R is geared more for higher RPM power because it has all that stuff done to it from the inside. Um, that's the video, really. Um, this took way, way long to make because I just wanted to say everything perfectly. I didn't want to miss anything, uh, even though I probably missed a bunch of stuff that you guys are going to get me for anyway. If you don't mind, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 10K here. Uh, I'm, I still can't even believe I got that far, even though it's been a long two years, almost two years now doing this. Uh, so thank you for watching. Like the video, share it with your friends, educate your friends, um, do whatever you want with this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.